Hello everyone, it's Caribbean E. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's just having a wonderful and a splendid, marvelous day and that things are going your way and that you are in the best of health. Today I'm just coming simply with a, another update. Uh, COVID-19 in the Dominican Republic. As of Sunday, as of Sunday, 345 new positive cases and nine new deaths are due to COVID-19 in the Dominican Republic. Uh, these, uh, this death, these nine deaths and these positive cases were registered in the Dominican Republic bringing the number to 4,688 infected cases and the death toll now is now 226. 226. Um, there's, there's a lot of people, but it's nowhere near the numbers in New York and other places in the United States and also in other countries, uh, especially China and Italy and possibly Spain. This report also establishes that there are 363 recovered patients, and I love to hear about the recovery. That's a, that's a beautiful thing, the recovery. While 10,903 suspected cases were ruled out through the laboratory tests based on a total of 15,583 uh, proceed, uh, proceeded tests that have been carried out since the virus was detected on March the 1st. 862 are isolated in hospitals, while 3,329 remain in home isolation. So, 79% of death, which is 179 to 226 corresponded to men. Most of these are men, okay? They're in the age of 62 with a history of hypertension, which is high blood pressure, maybe tuberculosis and other things that they possibly have during this time of crisis and COVID-19, pre-existing conditions in poor neighborhoods, just like it is back in the United States. So, in the United States, they're doing something new now because they want to open up stores and get the economy going again. They're doing contact and tracing. That means you can trace the source or find out where it's coming from, who's got it, so they don't spread it to other people, which is very important before anybody even think about opening up cities and businesses. But, while the United States, which is the matrix that I call them, are really not focusing to me on prevention because they gave American Airlines a $200 billion bailout. So the health and safety of the people should have been taken care of first before you bail out some airlines just like it was when they bailed out the banks. So poor sick people are dying in poor neighborhoods, Chicago, Detroit, New York, Harlem, Queens, and some of the other places, the Bronx, okay? They are dying because a lot of people can't afford uh, the medical costs. They're not going to get checked out. Some people, some people are COVID-19 and don't realize that they are, okay? Um, seniors are dying because, like I said, pre-existing conditions, a lot of seniors are old and sickly. So over 500 people in New York City just this weekend have died 
and the mayor was cheering, the governor was cheering, but there's still over 500 people that lost their lives, which is nothing to cheer about. We need to get this epidemic and this pandemic sickness done and get it out of the way. Then go back to living life as you once did. Um, so, I would, I would, um, I would really question the American government to think about opening up, you know, the economy too fast, too quickly. That'd be my opinion as a YouTuber, and also to some of the other countries. And then also, I'd like to say hello to all of my peeps all over the place, my Vegas, my Las Vegas family, okay, my Miami family, and also my newly. Uh, United Kingdom family, when you guys when you when you guys uh, comment on the remarks column or the comments, let me know where you're from. You know whether you're from New York, whether you're from England, whether you're from France, whether you're from Tokyo, Guam, Philippines. Let me know where you're from so I'll know how far the channel is reaching. Okay. Um, so anyway, I hope you all guys you guys just having a wonderful and exciting day. I got some nice videos coming up. Um, we're gonna do a flash from the past, but recently from the past, the videos that we took when we were in uh, Miami, Florida uh, last year on vacation. So we're gonna get those videos up since we got none but time on our hands, though we're still in quarantine. And also, we guys gonna, I'm gonna let you know, okay, as soon as those borders are open, I'm gonna let you guys know first, okay? Uh, the president talked to us again Friday, let us know that all the restrictions will remain in place. But he also threatened those that are still uh, want to be rebellion and hang out and drink their beer or hang out on the streets. They're still getting arrested. And he's saying if they don't uh, curve their behavior, stay indoors while the curfew is in place, then he's going to lock down a 24-hour curfew. And I think that's really highly <laughs> unlikely because, you know, you got the seniors that's got to go out and get their medication. You got people that's got to go shopping, people that go to the bank. People will get some groceries. So um, they just trying to make sure that people don't be just wandering, hanging out on the street, and act like this is a big party. When the epidemic in the Dominican Republic, as soon as they get a hold of this thing, but thank God that we didn't, we're not losing that many people as they're losing in the matrix. Okay, but still in all, they want to get that number down because if that number climbs, we're in big trouble. We want people to come to the island. Want you guys to be safe. Want you guys to have fun. And you that want to come to the resort. Um, and get to the resort thing. I'm gonna let you guys know soon as the borders are open. Soon as the borders are open, because we're gonna be leaving too. I need a break from the island. I live here, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I need a little break. So we're gonna spend some time maybe in Puerto Rico, you know, or go to the United States for a minute, see the family, you know, whatever, okay. But anyway, um, like I said, I hope you guys really in good shape, and I hope you guys just got that stimulus, that bailout. Like you took it and used it for the right purposes, for the right things. Um, make sure your rent is paid, make sure your bills are paid because that's basically what it's for and that you guys are in good shape um, and that you're just doing the right thing. That's what it's all about. So um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on COVID-19 and what's happening in the Dominican Republic. Again, it's still a beautiful country. It's beautiful outside. The weather is getting just even more marvelous. Okay, it's going to be, I think, uh, 95 today. All this week will be in the 90s. At night, it gets to 71 degrees. I'm telling you, if you're thinking about coming to the Dominican Republic and all this is over, or you're thinking about living here, moving here, you're doing the right thing. The economy is good. Um, everything is great. Everything is durable. You can put lots of money away per month because we're doing it, okay? And it's just, it's just a beautiful place to be. Um, you're not too far off the beaten path. Like I said, I'm only two and a half hours flight from Miami. Okay, so you're close, you know, you, you're close, but not too close, and I like that, okay. Still a foreign country, um, but it's a Spanish-speaking country, so if you don't know Spanish, you might want to practice up your Spanish before you get here, so you pretty much know what you're dealing with, what you're facing, I want you, and, and if, whatever questions that you guys have, look at some of my prior videos, uh, it'll tell you what to expect when you get here, it'll tell you about the cost of living, um, tell you about medical costs, uh, tell you about best time to travel um, and, all, and, what, uh, and what even what airports to even fly into to save you some money when you get here 
but you gotta really look at the videos, write some notes, take them down, because you know, when you get comments, people ask the same thing over and over again. It's like, why? You guys watch the videos or what? <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm getting a phone call. But anyway, um, so anyway, um, this is busy, busy all the time. People wait till I start making videos and they want to call. And I contact and tell them, you know, if you need something, get with me before I start doing my videos. See, so it'll be interrupting me. But anyway, um, you got the information. COVID-19 will continue to keep you updated as things change in the country. So you'll know how we're doing here. But like I said, we got a whole lot lower deaths than they have in the matrix. So, in the meantime, between the time, remember, life is to be enjoyed. Continue to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscription notification. And guess what? We'll see you on the next video. Peace.